This video serves as a demonstration of the Figure 1 application uh, for MCPHS Informatics class, Fall 2019. Uh, so Figure 1 is a great online social networking service that's geared towards medical professionals uh, in which they could share their cases, ask for advice from other practitioners. Uh, so when you first get onto the website, uh, you go ahead and you register yourself. So for instance, this is my page here. I rested, listed myself as an EMT. Uh, eight years of practice, and you can actually add all of your specific interests uh, that other members on the website would see. Uh, it also starts to gear down and um, filter out some of the things that you may be interested in to show you. So if you go in and actually edit your profile, you can list what your specialty is, and that would show up on your profile for other members to see. And most importantly, you could get verified. Uh, so what verification allows you to do uh, is it allows you to start uploading cases, uh, it allows you to access some journal articles and direct message other members on the site. It's really there to ensure that the posts are from credible medical professionals uh, and not just someone posing to be a doctor or a nurse or anything of that sort. So we're going to do verify later. So if you go onto the home page, this lists the most recent cases that were listed. Uh, so if you go through, a lot of pictures, so it's interesting to go and scroll through. So if something catches your eye, or uh, if you're interested in something and you open it up, it'll show you the picture of the case. If there's multiple pictures, you can scroll through them. Uh, so for instance, this case here, uh, the medical officer that posted it gave you a brief description of what's going on with their patient, and here they're looking for some advice, um, some possible diagnoses. So you could see some other members have listed questions, um, some suggestions that they feel may be appropriate to help this practitioner. Whereas other posts are simply just for education. So here, uh, Tahoe Medic, a paramedic, listed this basic arterial blood gases interpretation chart, uh, simply just as an informational uh, educational tool. So for instance, if I like this post, I could go in and click their name on top, and it'll bring me to their profile. So here it shows me they're a verified paramedic, so I know that they have uh, credentials, they know what they're talking about for the most part, lists their practice areas, their interests, and all of the other uh, posts that they've made. So for instance, here's a picture of the heart, shows you the conduction pathways. So that's a way you could start getting more involved on this website. And uh, you also have clinics, um, hospitals, such as Cleveland Clinic here had posted an interesting case and um, here they list all the information surrounding the case and the link to their website, which goes into more detail. So here's their case study surrounding the picture that they listed on case, or excuse me, figure one. So if you have a particular interest, you can actually go and hit the search icon in the upper right hand corner, and that brings you to a search key. So here you could actually bring it down to specialty as well as anatomy. So if you want to filter out everything in regards to specialty, for instance, emergency medicine, it'll bring you all of the cases that were listed that have something to do with emergency medicine. If I want to look at a specific part of the anatomy, so for instance, if eyes interest me, I could go into eye, and it'll bring me all of the different cases that are surrounding the eye that have to do with the eye. I could also go ahead and search something spe specific. So for instance, if I have an interest in pressure ulcers, which we've been learning a lot about in class, go ahead and search pressure ulcers. And you could see they have all the pictures. This one has multiple pictures, so you could scroll through. And then the medical student here in this case uh, listed a little bit of information based on their uh, patient and here they're asking for any further ideas of treatment. So it's a great tool that allows certain individuals to come together and give suggestions. Here you can see a vascular surgeon chimed in as well as a nurse. One of the key defining features of this program is maintaining patient privacy. So for instance, if I hit this red circle uh, with the plus sign in the lower right hand corner, it's gonna bring me to an area where I could start to present a case. So if I was to add a case image, and I'm gonna choose Florence Nightingale here. So if I upload a picture of Florence Nightingale, 
it automatically shows me that it's going to be removing any faces, names, dates, uh, and smaller locations than a state. So when if I hit OK, it automatically puts a box over her face and I can't remove it at this point. Uh, it's a way to protect all the patient's um, privacy. And I could go in there as well, and if I want, I can draw on it to black out a little bit more. I can add an arrow if I want to point out a specific area, as well as crop it out. So that's how you would present the case. You could add all the text, you would add your categories, um, and then you would need a consent form, but we're not getting that deep into it. So overall, uh, Figure 1 is a great program. Uh, I know we have all been very interested in going through the cases, and this is a application we're going to be using throughout the future just to give us a little bit of more learning tools uh, and see some interesting cases. So that is our wrap-up of Figure 1.